can all use a little bit of help day to day when it comes to life hacks. Nikki, you have compiled a bunch of different life hacks for us. A lot of these are DIYs that uh, you use yourself, starting with an easy way to hang pictures. Yes. Um, so us. sometimes you're working with tools and the little, like little uh, things just throw off the entire thing. So I'm going to show you a few things that are really simple okay. but work really well. So hanging a picture frame, sometimes you have the nail that's out and you have a wire at the back of the frame. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to kind of locate where that uh, wire is. Right. So you can use a fork. It's not just for eating. Just put the fork okay. on the nail. Yeah. If it wants to stay up there, perfect. And then because the fork is protruding out, it guides all the way across. Where is oh. it? Oh. It guides all the way across and it just goes just a little tight. And then you have a fork in your art. No, just joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> then you take and it then you out. Take it out. It should be smoother than that. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a simple thing. <laughs> right. um, I have this picture in my living room. It does that all the time, and I can't hang the picture right. So put a fork Super in it. Super easy. And it just, it's just because it's protruding out, it kind of holds the back of it, and it allows you to kind of find where that, uh, that wire is. Yeah, I love it. Okay, the next thing is removing a nail from a wall without uh, marking the wall. So maybe yes. you put the nail in, and it's in the wrong place. You don't want the picture there anymore. Right. And then, you know, sometimes you have old hammers, and when you take out the nail, because the metal of the 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 metal of the hammer yes. is dragging across the wall, it can actually leave a mark on the wall. Yes. So super easy. All you do is take a sponge, put the sponge underneath the nail, Oh. and then you do this. So there's no more. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's great. And then nice no and clean. Mark. Exactly. Okay, very good. I love that. Now you have a very um, easy way for us to paint. Yes, so we're creating a paint station. Okay. We're gonna use the heck out of this detergent, empty detergent container. So yes. what we did here is we're taking all the parts off. You see the spout that, the pouring spout, we're pulling that off also, we're gonna use that as well. Okay. Now you just use your, your magic marker and you draw out just the middle here. And I cut a little bit of it out already. And I'm gonna cut the rest out. Super easy. As long as you've got the good scissors. Yep. <laughs> Now, this is sort of like a holding station. So if you take your paint and pour it directly into... Nice color you got there. There we go. Oh. Well, don't pour it on the table like I did. <laughs> and you take a rubber band and you just put it over the top here. You can paint and put it through here and then you can use the rubber band to kind of, you know? Oh, and you have a something painting that, station. Right, exactly. Actually, what I should have showed you was how you can use the spout so that you don't have any spills. So you just put it on the top there. Yeah. And using the spout, sorry if I cut that off, you use the spout. So by doing this, you have it, um, all the drips go into the container of the spout and not on your hand. Oh, I get it. So it's like, a, it's like your little caddy. This right. is your little painting caddy. Exactly. You take and then it you with just you. put it like this and it holds it on top. And then the paintbrush has a place to go, exactly. which is always very annoying because you never know where to put it. Right. I love that. Okay, uh, magnetic hammer. Yes. Uh, oh, my hammer's over here. Let me just grab it. <laughs> Okay, so you have, um, sometimes you have nails, and what, we, what do we usually do when you have nails? You put them in your mouth, right? Yeah. So super easy, what we can do here is we can either take a little magnet. You get this from the dollar store or their hardware store, yeah. and you stick it to the side of your hammer. Okay. So now, no more putting nails in the mouth. You just hold it like yes. this, right? Let's show them what that looks like. That's awesome. So, yeah, do not put it in your mouth anymore. Exactly. It just seems like the easiest thing to do, right? right? That is good. Now, the same thing with a screwdriver. So, I mean, okay. with the screwdriver, sometimes when you have to screw something upwards, it's difficult yes. because it kind of falls all the time. Yes. Same thing. Grab a magnet. And because the, the screwdriver is mag uh, metal, yeah. it magnetizes the entire screwdriver. And now oh, so it's going to stay. It stays. Can you hold that up for us? Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's cool. Little I love that. Now, okay, so that's very easy. What do yes. you got next? Loose screws. Yeah. You know you have a hook and then just it just gets loose and you're you just like screw loose. It doesn't matter how much you screw it in, it just doesn't work anymore. So you take a toothpick, you cut it down to size. Okay. And you stick it inside the hole. It's gonna ha it's not gonna be wobbling in there. Right, exactly. So by screwing it in here. Yeah. Oh, that's way better. Right. Look at that. So that's solid. Solid. That is so cool. Now this is the worst. I absolutely hate when I'm working with screws and I strip the screw. Right. So super easy. An elastic band. Just take okay. an elastic band, put it on top of the strip screw. And, and that then there you go. Will help you screw it. Oh, I'm actually screwing in. I want to screw it up. Okay. And there you go. Nice! 
nice. Right? Super okay. easy. Elastic bands, man, that they come in handy for so many different Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Getting the jar of pasta sauce open. Absolutely. And then you can use them for this as well. Right. That's incredible. Okay, and here. This, this one's one here. really clever. Okay. So this one here, you know sometimes you're working away and you don't have the right wrench, right? Yeah. So you take a quarter mm -hmm. and you put it beside it. And again, just like the toothpick, you're filling the gap. So you're now, the gap. now we can, oops. You have enough traction now right. so that regardless of what size work. the wrench is. Oh my goodness. It's going to. It actually <laughs> works, I, I promise you. Oh my goodness. It's going to open it up. There we go. Oh, she got it. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got uh, measuring tape that's right. going to be used for more than just measuring tape. Yes. So you have a measuring tape. Sometimes you have something that's really long and you can't, you need both of your hands to hold the, the end of it and then pull it out and you, you can't essentially um, mark it. Right. So we're going we're gonna to make a dual purpose um, measuring tape where you can mark and measure at the same time. So you take okay. one of these binder clips, yep. take your pencil, put it inside. Yeah. And then you see all these measuring tapes have these clips so you can, you know, hook it onto your belt. Right. So you just take this binder clip and you, we're putting it this way, and you just put it into that clip. So now, when you're measuring, oh. you can do this. You so measure, now your pencil is attached. You look, and you just make and your you mark. And you can mark. Right. That is smart. Woo! That's very clever. That's very clever. I'm just going to show you again so you can see how that works. So she, she, you can put a mark wherever you need it. Exactly. Right? The pencil's right there, and that's the way it's clipped in. That is so cool. Okay. Do you have any more, you genius? No, this is it. That is amazing. Yes. <laughs> she just solved a multitude of issues in your house right now, and you did it in like two seconds. So give it up for Nikki. That's amazing. <laughs>